Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to World of Tanks with BMAT. And uh, the beginning of this video is going to be a little bit different than other videos I've had of World of Tanks in the past. And that's because of the legendary status of the vehicle in question. Of course, it's the Tiger I, um, which anybody who understands World War II history knows the, the status that the Tiger I carries. So... Whenever I think of why it has such legendary status, I often think of two stories that, you know, just add to the the legend that is. And that's at the Battle of Kursk, there was a tank commander by the name of Fran Staudiger, who, with his Tiger alone, managed to take on 50 T-34s and, you know, basically single-handedly hold them off whenever the Russians are trying to counterattack. And actually... A uh, quick shout out to Mark Felton Productions. He actually has a really detailed video on it, so go check him out. I'll have a link in the description. But basically, he held them off with, uh, well, his tank held them off by destroying 22 of them and the rest of them fled. So that's pretty powerful in its own right. And the second story is a man by the name of Michael Vittman, who many historians obviously know who he is, basically dunking on the British at a little French town called Villers-Bocage, where his tank managed to take out something like 25 British tanks and other like armored vehicles. And these two stories add like a level of like extreme legend to a vehicle, like so much so that Allied forces actually begin to they began to call every tank and question that they came across a tiger. And, you know, people were like feared to death of these things, you know, due to, you know, their high levels of armor. And of course, like the very powerful 88 millimeter gun, which, you know, all the Varaboos out there, like think is just this wonderful weapon of war. And I just kind of wanted to give a quick little overview as to the story of this vehicle. But anyways, we might as well get to some world of tanks action. So, what's the Tiger like as far as World of Tanks is concerned? Well, it's a Tier 7 Heavy. It's not necessarily the greatest tank in the world, as far as World of Tanks goes. World of Tanks goes. Um, it's still very formidable. Probably the main pro about it is the gun. Most certainly the gun. It's... It has actually the 88 millimeter that was mounted on the Tiger II, also known in World of Tanks as the long throbbing 88 millimeter, which is a good gun. It has 203 millimeters of pen. It has, it actually got buffed in patch 1.10. So it can do 280 alpha instead of pre-patch where it only did 240. And of course, it still has a good rate of fire, so the DPM is actually, like, very, very slightly different. I actually think it's slightly better, but I have to go look that up. But, uh, that's probably the biggest pro with the Tiger one. The gun just works wonders, plus it has fantastic DPM. I think I got, right now I have it to 2400 DPM with, like, my crew and all that shit. Probably the biggest cons with the Tiger one is looking at it it's just a big box like it doesn't have the angles that you know other tanks from like other countries have that you know help to deflect you know incoming ammunition which is kind of a bummer because you know there's tier six tanks that have absolutely no problem penetrating the armor on this vehicle you know when in real life you know a lot of tanks that this vehicle went up against didn't necessarily have the pro didn't necessarily have the power to like punch through the armor. Check out this shot. I actually end up getting a a blind hit right there. I end up doing 249. See, I, he's actually at 601. He was at 850 when I pulled the trigger. But yeah, I mean it's not. I mean it's not game breaking. But ooh, there's another shot right here. Here you go. Take that T34 100. It doesn't break the vehicle. There are certain situations, I mean, like in this, in this game, luckily I'm top tier, 
Although it's just two sevens and sixes, but there's three already on each team, which you never want to see that as a World Tanks player. But basically, if you know how angling works, which like the front, like the front of the Tiger has a hundred millimeters armor thick. Okay, it's a hundred millimeters. The sides are the sides and the rear are eighty millimeters. So. You can side scrape, which is whenever you present like your side at an extreme angle, so hopefully you bounce into flex shots. Okay, because 80 millimeters, that's not thin enough to where tanks will overmatch you, which uh, just missed a shot right there. Although I think I get one right here. Yeah, I get it right there. But how overmatch works is when a caliber of the gun is over three times sufficient or over three times the amount of the armor that it comes into contact with it'll overmatch and damn that is made a really bad play right there boom going right into the tiger on that shot i never thought in a million years i'd ever see 300 damage come out of a tiger like that but <clears throat> so the tiger's not going to be overmatched but it is thin enough to where the amount of effective armor doesn't really hold up too hot compared to like a lot of the guns that this tank's gonna see like I mean a couple years well, I'm more than a couple years ago but a little while ago they actually buffed the health pool of this tank up to 1500 and it needs it it needs like this tank needs the ability to like eat some shots because the armor is just not strong enough to like deflect everything that this tank's gonna go up against even lower tiers or high tiers but and that's kind of a shame I mean although right here you see like how I make angling like kind of textbook right here so I blow the shot but this dude like what like earlier when I was saying effective armor oh this, this guy's gonna die yeah I ate that dude's lunch but as far as like effective armor, when rounds hit angles, they're more likely to deflect. They're more likely to, you know, hit a surface and not penetrate, and so they're gonna bounce off because they're just hitting that extreme angle. Well, as you can see, the Tiger One has no angles. So like that situation I had against the Skoda T25, you have to make the angle yourself. And in order to do that, like you have to know like when and like how much to like turn your vehicle to where you just naturally create an angle which leads me to say that not everybody will enjoy the tiger it's not the it's not the tank that uh, you know used to dominate the battlefields in World War 2 it's just not you know but a world of tanks like it's still like people who know how to properly like angle their own armor people who understand like really good positioning like they'll be able to take full advantage of like all the power that the tiger one has like as far as like gun wise but <clears throat> watch right here I actually managed to, ooh. so I'm kind of unlucky not to finish the kv2 right there and he just blows up one of my buddies which that kind of sucks but and that shot, I mean, that's that's horrendous. <laughs> I managed to hit like a rather lightly armored vehicle on probably the one spot that'll bounce. Although right there, I get some redemption. I managed to take him out. And then, ooh, I managed to hit him in like the worst possible spot. That's not like like the KV2, you know, like vehicles with a lot better of armor. I mean, obviously they would have still ate damage just because that the high explosive rounds on that tank are just ridiculous. I mean, 152 millimeters, like any anyone eating those rounds is going to take some damage. But like, the armor is so trollish that, well, like so trolling to me, like the guy actually driving the tank that, you know, each time he pulled the trigger, he's almost doing 400 damage. And it's like, I'm a tier higher heavy tank. Like to me, that just shouldn't happen but all the right here you get to see the gun in action plus like how accurate it is so like this tiger one he doesn't really expose himself but this this go to t25 like i just 
eat his lunch right here. He bounces one off me, misses another. And I actually managed to get the killing shot before he can get back behind cover. I'm trying to back off so that way, like, Artie doesn't take me out, because, like, 127 health, that's really not much. You know, especially when, like, Artie could just plop a shot, like, right into the top of your turret, at the top of your engine deck, and those are never... Like, those parts of the tanks are, like, never really well armored. So this Tiger 1's at 360, so with 280 average damage, there's little to no chance I should take him out. But I talked, <laughs> I talked mad shit about the Tiger's armor, and then with the Tiger, I managed to bounce a shot, like shoot and bounce off of the enemy Tiger, which, you know, the Tiger tank just trolls me all around. But... As far as the Tiger goes, I mean, like the legendary status of the vehicle that, you know, people who know what it is know, is not the same. And I'm not saying that the Tiger is terrible, because obviously it's not. Like, you know, in this battle alone, I do, you know, over 3k damage. You know, I got three kills. I mean, that's a pretty decent result as far as tier 7s go. Oh, the T-29, like, smoked me, I think. He ended up getting a Top Gun. Which, you know, kudos to him. He's a good player. He made good plays. But, as far as... As far as the Tiger goes, like, the T-29 is a way better vehicle. It has the turret that gives Tier 9's problems. You know, like, Tier 9 tank destroyers shooting premium ammunition have trouble, you know, with the T-29's turret, you know, it's just, it's a very, very capable tank, much more so capable than the Tiger One, but pretty much <laughs> one of the main reasons, like, like, on my console account, the first line I went down was the Tiger One, and of course, like, my first tier 10 on console was the E-100, because, as, like, a history fanboy, I wanted the Tiger so bad. <laughs> and, of course, now that I'm on PC, I got other tanks first, as far as tier 10-wise. I went on other lines. But, you know, since the the German meme boys got some buffs, I decided I might as well go get the Tiger. So, anyways, this battle's over, so let's go check out the post-battle results screen. So, here we are at the post-battle results screen. I managed to actually get a first-class mastery in this battle, which, to me, that means a lot of... A lot of people don't necessarily do the greatest in this tank, because I don't really think the results were too fantastic. I mean, here I am with the fire for effect. Like I said, that's like a participation trophy. Um, Got a duelist. Of course, like... Like, the Tiger 1 is a tank you'll probably get a lot of duelist medals in because, like, it requires you destroying vehicles that damaged you, but, like, pretty much everyone in the game can damage the Tiger. I mean, like I said before, you really have to have a strong sense of angling. Like, you have to, like, self-angle in order to get the most out of the armor. So, not really surprised I got that one. And then, of course, Bruiser, you know... The high penetration of the long throbbing 88 that's on the Tiger 1 definitely works wonders as far as like, you know, being able to hit areas where like there's crew members, you know, like, like some, like you'll be able to punch through like certain tank designs that have tougher like armor elements in certain spots, like in order to protect crew, like that was actually like design in real life. So I'm not really surprised I got that. And then I did get the high caliber, which... You know, that's a pretty decent award. I was top on the team. I was, I mean, this kind of shocked me because the T29 had seven kills. You know, I mean, obviously he balled out. You know, of course, he didn't do nearly as much damage. Like, I still did, what is that, 1,300 damage more? But, you know, seven kills, that's, 
a lot more than my puny three, I guess. But of course, you got a lot more medals, and deservedly so. I mean, this dude had a cracker of a game, so shout out to him. And everyone else, I mean, they did all right. You know, it's not like my team like a bunch of potatoes. All these guys at the bottom, they got to pick it up. Of course, shout out to their KV2. Their KV2 and their Tiger. Of course, they gave me a lot of trouble. Um, The KV2, you know, he did 2,000 damage. Which, you know, with the Derp, the 152 millimeter on that. Like, that gun's just insane. And then, of course, the guy that ended up killing me, the enemy Tiger 1, he did 1,800 damage. He had, well, he only had one kill, but, you know, happened to be me. It is what it is. As far as the gun on the Tiger. So I had 17 shots. I had 15 hits, 12 pens. So obviously a lot more often than not, I was hitting the target. And then, you know, you saw I had a couple troll bounces. But, you know, other times I was just hitting like really strong armor. I mean, only three bounces. I mean, that's really not bad. You know, 3K, 3K damage. Uh, 820 of it was from distance. That's, I'm pretty sure that's when I killed that Skoda T25. You know, I had three shots into him. I'm pretty sure that was the only damage it did more than 300 meters away. A block 690, that's okay. Um, damage six, killed three. And only 134 assistance, which doesn't really surprise me. I really didn't like spot anything in this game. Of course, I have a premium amount, a premium account. I don't really fire premium ammunition. I try to make it a point not to. And of course, fully re repairing my vehicle costs eleven grand. Although there must be a bug because this number would have to be higher in order for me to get this. But you know, there's no way you could do that, subtract, and then end up with more. But all in all, solid game. Uh, of course, I'm playing the legendary Tiger One. Yeah, anyone worth their salt knows the Tiger One. Um, of course, some World of Tanks doesn't necessarily live up to the legend, but you know, I'm happy that a tank that once terrorized the battlefields of World War II, I can play on my console and on my PC. That's pretty dope. But uh, yeah, the Tiger One, three K damage, three kills, not bad. Anyways, if you guys like, uh, please give me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps the channel. If you like, you know, this video and other content, you know, please hit me with a subscription. And uh, I just really enjoy the support that I've gotten so far. It's been awesome. I think I'm up to 16 subscribers. And all 16 of you make me extremely happy. So, anyways, take care. And I'll see you guys next time.